Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to New World. Today we are going to set out and we're going to take care of this side quest here. We need to get some precision tools at Iron Rose Garrison. Then I think we're going to head north and we're going to find our surviving farmer at the Golden Fields and find out exactly what happened there. But yeah, we'll do the side quest first. Hope you guys are all doing well today, and thank you so much for clicking on the video and joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Still have our side quest for turkeys. I still love hearing the sounds of industrious work, the sounds of people chopping down trees and mining things. Uh, it's, it's very cool to be out in the wild and hear people doing that kind of work. It really does help make the world very immersive. Just fun to kind of be in. We should definitely get a food buff going here. Let's do that. That'll get us for 20 minutes. Passive regen. Alright, we're coming up on some ramshackle buildings. Probably gonna find something here. Ooh, what is that? Ill-fated abomination. Not a typical lost. But not that hard to dispatch, though. Got some disgusting piles of goo here. Something something bad happened here. Uh, this is near where we need to find the precision tools, so... Let's head a bit further in. Kind of assuming we're looking for things inside of crates. Or perhaps in the well. That was not aimed well. What is this guy? Iron Rose Archer. Are you some kind of lost? It does seem like they went back and added some enemy variety in these starting zones. All I remember fighting in the starting zones were lost, corrupted, and you know, the animals and stuff. I don't remember that archer, and I don't remember- I remember those beasts, but I don't remember them being very prevalent. Uh, let's pull the water well up. This looks like an army camp. Some kind of garrison. Probably not a smart idea to come in here, but... Here we are! Departure. January 17th, I had a curious visitor a few days ago, a French woman, M. Cartier, a tanner of Buffalo. But more of the look of a hunter about her, oddly enough, she had heard of me and the piano and sought me out to see it for herself. She seemed surprised by my disposition, but not inquired deeply about it. I said she had... Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. 
It is hard to read things in the field sometimes in this game. And, and I kind of like to read stuff right when I get it. So. Okay, let's see. She said that the isle itself awoke her. Some saw it as hell, a curse, purgatory, some as a paradise, but that no one truly knew it at all. It was a life, she said, and the isle gave birth to all manner of wonders to feed our curiosity. We were not the first here, she told me. Others were here. You can see it in the ruins to the north, the great spheres upon the plains. There was a city once, all around us. I inquired what happened to the city and the people before us. She smiled and said, Mr. Grenville, perhaps you were brought here to answer that question. I gave her words much thought over the past few days. I will seek out these structures and see what sense can be made of them. It is better than remaining here and letting more dust gather upon the piano keys. All right, back to looking for precision tools. Got a life staff, scout greaves of the century. Those are definitely better than what we have. We need to get ammo. I wouldn't mind trying out like a rifle at range. The Iron Creed. A warrior is no more noble or sharp than the iron of the blade he carries. No more graceful than the way he treats others. We are more than mercenaries. We are the garden of promise. Valor is a beacon to those who've lost hope. Let your blade shine a light in the dark. Creed of the Company of the Iron Rose. Well, it all went to crap. Unfortunately, all these people are the Iron Rose people. So they had good intentions, but it seems like they still got lost. Not sure what's happening here. Let's lend a hand. Alright, so... Let's check north for the last item we need here. So yeah, once we get close to it, it puts it up in the world, but when we're far away, it doesn't. Makes you explore a little bit, which is good. Alright, okay, so we do need one more. This turns in back in town. Let's go ahead and recall to the inn. We can get that turned in and then we can head out and start working on that story quest.
Uh, do we turn it in at the board? Yes, we do. We could probably, like, do this. We need to hunt wolves. Okay. Yeah, I think for now we head out here. The other side quest we have is level 14, which we are not. We do need to spend some points. Let's go ahead and put them into strength. Trying to get to the first threshold here. 10% damage to melee physical attacks. By basic attacks. So we'll keep working towards that. I've, I've kind of forgot how to like set up a camp. I thought at some point we would be able to make a camp. I remember making camps and binding myself there. But maybe we just haven't gotten that tutorial yet. Or maybe we're just not at the level to have done it yet. But yeah, I... <laughs> I wonder if that if that's something we can still... We saw the one camp on the road the one time that we couldn't use. Oh, I love the lighting effects in this game. I feel like we're still like a little bit dark. I just don't want to brighten things too much and wash everything out, you know? Maybe I could do that. There's no gamma, it's just brightness. That's probably a little bit better. But the game is supposed to get dark. At night it does get dark. This looks like good sunset light. But yeah, I really do love the lighting in this game. Gray wolves we need for a quest. turn in somewhere it shows a long way this way where does that lead us oh all the way up here okay yeah we're definitely not working on that right now We got Great Sword Mastery to 5. Let's take a look at that. So, we could uh, start going into some of these other abilities now. Increases base attack damage by 20% when attacking foes that are above 90% health. Charged heavy attacks have a 15% armor pen. Gain grit when performing crosscut. Grit prevents you from being staggered by incoming attacks. That might be good during this attack. That's our, our three hit attack. And then cross execution. Base damage of the final strike is increased by 100% if the target is below 50% health. That's very like situational. And a follow up attack that deals 140% weapon damage by activating the skill again. 
or using a light attack. Let's try that out. That seems cool. That's on our upward slash. So we can go. Oh, ho, 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 that is cool. So it's like a little combo we can do now. Okay, I like that a lot. Okay, here is a survivor. There's a couple of them, it seems. Nothing I've learned in all my studies has prepared me for this. I've heard of druids falling ill or even becoming lost, but some truly foul magic is at work here. The path is clear. Oh, about time someone came to help! Meet me at the edge of the farm! We should talk! Okay. Sure. Oh, you're actually gonna go. They'll hear you. And believe me, I don't want that. The way is clear now. <sighs> Thank you. My family, my farm. All lost. I'm the only one left. That's tough, man, but at least you have your life. There's still hope. And night has fallen. Or at least twilight. And it doesn't seem like it's too dark, so yeah, up upping the brightness was probably a good idea. What are you doing here? How did you get past the wizard? Uh, it's safe. You can leave this place. Oh, bless you, my friend. I felt my hope fading away. I almost became withered. Hmm. All right. So now we need to follow up with these people once they have reached safety. That, that is cool, man. The greatsword, I mean, I haven't had played any other weapons since the original release, but the greatsword just seems amazing and just a ton of fun. And I really can't imagine using anything else. So, although, you know, eventually we will experiment with some other weapon types. And we'll get a secondary weapon, obviously, as well, since sometimes things are, like, strong against certain types of damage. We probably want to get an impact weapon. Uh, I kind of lean towards the Great Hammer, obviously. I had a lot of fun with the Great Hammer before. Definitely not mind using that against enemies that are weak to impacts or strong against Slash. Alright, let's talk to these people and see what they have to tell us. After what I've seen, I fear eternal life may become eternal torment. It's a sight that will haunt me all my days. Watching my sweet Doris consumed by beetles and then rise up again as a withered. Yeah, so the withered are different than the lost or the corrupted. So there's three different things that someone can become. I find that interesting, and I'm curious to see how the forces that, that kind of govern those three things interact with each other. I was by the mill, watching as the druids spread their verdant blessings. Then suddenly, the blessings turned putrid and began emitting green smoke. The druid nearest me just fell over and transformed. So maybe it was the druids? I just can't believe that. They've always been kind and generous. They often spoke of a verdant spirit who watched over Windsward. Hmm. It was a lovely story. How did the farms deteriorate so quickly? It just doesn't make sense. Hmm. Transforming druids into swarm answers, that's not human magic. That seems like the magic of the island itself. Why weren't you affected? I've only just returned from completing my druidic studies mm. at another warren in the north. Seeing what's happened to everyone, I can't imagine what happened here. Some kind of curse? 
Could it be the sorceress Medea? I've never heard of anyone who could snap their fingers and turn people lost. So withered is a form of loss then. Okay. I'd like hmm. to know more about it myself. <laughs> no. This is something else. Something related to the land itself. The speaker blames the druids. Oh, does he now? Is it that old blowhard Francis Turner? I'll be having a word with Mr. Turner then. <sighs> Whatever you're doing to help is most appreciated. I suggest you carry on. I'll seek you out later. All right then. Perfect. Let's turn into this guy. That, my friend, was most impressive. These vegetables may make all the difference. I spoke to the farmers you rescued. They said you also rescued a druid? What did she say? She just returned from up north. Hmm, she must be initiate. They train up north. Perhaps she can help us make sense of all this. I don't think the speaker's on the right track. Not at all. No, probably not. The speaker insists he sent Medea's tribute, which means it would have been carted off by the Iron Rose mercenaries. They're supposed to be protecting these farms as well, but I haven't seen hide nor hair of them. The Iron Rose mercenaries? Yes, they were hired by Medea herself to protect and transport the tribute, but the town had engaged them for security as well. I haven't seen a single member of the Iron Rose company I since I thought we this saw one of them started. as lost. Uh, where can we find them? The Iron Keep lies to the northwest. If you can go and find out about the tribute, it may help us solve this dilemma. I should get these goods back to town where they're desperately needed. Good luck! Find and read the Creed of the Iron Rose. Tracking the tribute. Okay, yeah, let's let's continue on with this for now. We have a wolf here that we need. Alright, we have this objective over here, but then we have another objective over here. Let's talk to you first. Uh, not from that close. I don't understand. My comrades were hardened soldiers. Tough bastards, one and all. So he's the Iron Rose captain. We've all died a time or two. Of course. What soldier hasn't on this island? How could every one of them have become lost? What happened? We heard the farmer's cries and rushed to help. But the Beatles were on us the moment we emerged from the garrison. We, we, we fought bravely. But when my comrades began to fall, I realized they were returning as lost. Hmm. It makes no sense. The Iron Rose have steel spines and iron resolve. We don't despair. Ultimately, I also fell. 
beneath the blade of one of my former comrades. I was too shocked to fight back. But you returned with your soul intact? Yes, but I can't be the only one. I fought alongside these soldiers against impossible odds. And now they become lost fighting some damn bugs? Sergeant Cawthorn, tough as Orichalcum. He must be here somewhere. I can search for her. Would you do that? I can't bear to face my former comrades. Not again. Find Cawthorn. Then meet me at the Iron Keep to the west. I must report this to Commander Merrill. Though I dread doing so. Is there anything else? Don't forget to set yourself a campsite. Oh. If you get in over your of head, course a campsite. it's a safe place to go back to. My sword arm How do I do that you, exactly? But my hopes are. So he tells us to set a campsite. From everything I tell, can tell, we can't do that yet. I need to remember to open these. Learn some sheet music. Okay. Yeah, still, still no idea how we would, uh, how we would set a camp. Maybe if we check key bindings, maybe that will tell us something. Let's have a look here. Make camp is Y. Okay, so yeah, there we go. We can make camps now. Uh, we can craft here. Can make some energizing rations. Um, why am I walking? I somehow toggled my walk. Left control. Oh, we're encumbered. This has nothing to do with toggling walk. This has to do with having too much junk. Uh, let's salvage some of this stuff. Assuming that it's, yeah, it's taking our weight down a little bit. Alright, and I'm not going to use the life staff right now. Not gonna use the sword or the shield. Don't think I'm gonna use the hatchet right now. And there we go. We should be good. Uh, let's grab this. Seeds of steel. Before we do anything else. Commander Merrill dives under the Minotaur's blade, dodges left, we Commander Merrill dives under the Minotaur's blade, dodges left, weaves the right, and plunges his sword into the heart of the beast. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't notice someone was near. I was uh, training. Training for what? To join the Iron Rose Company. Stalwart bastions of valor they are. I don't have a copy of the Creed. You look like a hardy adventurer. Could you swing by their camp and borrow a copy for me? I'd be happy to. Thank you. I've seen it posted near the encampments. Maybe multiple pages. I know I'll have to meditate and learn discipline, but that's difficult without instruction.
Oh, it wants us to make our camp here. Apparently. Uh, let's see if there's even going to be any room here. Okay. There we go. Now we can move on. That explains why everybody had set their camp up there. Did you come from? Did you see? The entire garrison has turned lost. My brave comrades are all soulless husks. I thought I was surely next. Now the way is clear now, so get moving. Yes, you're right. I can't just stand here awaiting death. My thanks to you, stranger. Brace yourself, Gideon. You can do this. Here's the creed, which we've we've read before. So we're looking for an armband here, but uh, I'm not exactly sure if maybe we're waiting for a named guy to spawn. Like these people are kind of waiting around. Maybe we're waiting for a respawn on a crate. I, I really don't know. We're going to hang out here for a second though and see if we get a respawn. There we go. That's who we were waiting for.
let's check in at the waypoint here. So we can fast travel now from this point. That's going to be very useful. When we do these side quests down here to the south, we'll probably grab this one. You're back! I had heard that many of them became lost. I was worried about you. I found the creed for you. Thank you so much! I'll study this and memorize it. Someone has to carry on their legacy. I'll make myself worry of the name. With study and dedication, one day I'll be worthy. The creed says valor is a beacon to those who've lost hope. Let your blade shine a light in the dark. I agree. Problem is, I don't have a sword. And Iron Rose soldiers ought to have an Iron Rose blade. They are very specific weapons. Can't be crafted by just any old smith. I could get you one. That'd be marvelous. I've hit enough sticks against tree trunks. I swear, the forest is starting to glare at me. <laughs> Let's uncover the landmark over here. What a relief to see you again. I'm afraid that the same curse that befell the garrison has struck the Iron Keep as well. And it's swarming with my lost brethren. Yikes. What news from the garrison? What's this? Sergeant Cotherin's armband. Oh no. The fall of Cotherin the Red. All the more tragic because he had been assigned to escort the tribute to Medea. She didn't take the tribute? No. We received a missive informing us that Guard Captain DuPont had already taken Medea's tribute. It was highly irregular. Of course, if Cotherin had gone, he might still have his soul. So what if Medea didn't get it? Are you suggesting the curse is Medea's doing? Dear God, I hope not. Commander Merrill stayed in close communication with the sorceress. If she failed to receive tribute, the commander would have received a very prompt letter. We should investigate. I cannot raise arms against my fallen comrades. You must fight your way into the Iron Keep alone. I must see the speaker. Find what you can. Then use the spirit shrine to meet me in Corinth. Valor is a beacon, friend. Let's go get our girl a sword. That's who's glad. Oh, my God. 
It says up here, I'm just not sure exactly how we would get there. Uh, maybe these stairs would take us? There are no stairs here, so that's not going to be the case. A little bit confusing here. Um, yeah, here we go. This might work. Side entrance. And another staircase. That's exactly what we needed. Oh dear. There we go. Maybe. Okay. With that done, now we can continue on with the other main quest we have. Read the notice. Okay, so the notice is going to be maybe upstairs? Yeah, here's Commander Merrill. Oh, he's got a great hammer. And he stunned us. Couldn't do our second follow up there. Ouch. Oh, it's voice acted. The tribute for the season has not arrived. That's really cool. And, as you well know, this is a breach of my contract with the Iron Rose and with the town of Corinth. Whoever holds the title of Speaker of the Winds these days, they should be reminded of the consequences that are described in detail in the original Covenant. If this situation is not remedied quickly, and to my satisfaction, further reparations will be expected. I will not hesitate to visit Windsward myself, and personally see that the cost is paid for these transgressions. Yours in candor, and quickly decreasing patience. Medea. She really wanted the tribute, you know, they, she wasn't joking. So, now they know. And we're probably gonna have to figure out what happened to the tribute and actually get it to her. To fix any of this, if any of it can be fixed. I mean, the people who are lost are lost, right? They're not coming back to being normal. Uh, let's head back to the fast travel point. Uh, look, it's almost dawn. I love the day-night cycle in the game, that I, I just love seeing the, the game world change throughout the times of the day as we play.
A warrior is no more noble or sharp than the iron of the blade he carries. No more graceful than the way he treats others. I have your sword. Oh, thank you, thank you. You truly are a friend. I'll be able to practice properly now. Trees, beware. I guess that's all she needs us to do right now. Maybe we'll see her somewhere down the road. Would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We don't have any gear that we need to equip or boxes we need to open. We could equip that. That's going to increase our capacity, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what we were supposed to craft. Maybe a long sword, but I don't think we I don't think we can craft that stuff yet. Hmm. Oh, maybe we need to, okay, we need to go over here now to craft it. Okay. Iron long sword. There we go. Let's craft one of them. Made it. I almost got you, comrade. Did you find anything in the Iron Keep? Ah, so there was correspondence from Medea. Good heavens. She never received the tribute. She is most displeased. Yeah, uh, she's pissed. Obviously. We got a new chess piece that looks like it might Medea be pretty cool. responsible for this curse. I fear it will only get worse. That sorceress is ruthless in a way these people simply do not understand. Those tributes are dear to her. So you do think it's her? I don't think there's any doubt at this point. I don't know. But this is precisely why Medea entrusted the Iron Rose with the responsibility for the tribute. The company has never failed to honor a contract. And now the damned speaker has tarnished our reputation. Did you talk to him? No. The bastard wouldn't see me, of course. And now, I'd only bash his face in. <laughs> this is all the proof we need, however. You should confront him. If he denies it, call me for the bashing. Fair. Let's check our inventory here. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip this. Alright, yeah, very cool looking. That's more the look that I'm going for. Some uh, nice plate armor. Their lies and oh, betrayal shall be exposed, and their empire shall decay and fall before our righteous might. Oh boy. Ah. 
Ah, the hero who restored our windmills returns from the field. Gratitude is in short supply in Corinth these days, but I, for one, salute your courage. I'm here to talk about the tribute. Ah, as I've said countless times now, we've sent the damn tribute. We can't always guarantee the caravan's safety. And if that vicious sorceress wants a war over this, we should give her one. Was that your plan all along? Of course not. The town wants to continue appeasing Medea. So I've tried. Even now, if we can recover the tribute, I'll send it. You can help. Talk to Captain DuPont. He'll give you the details. All right. All right, slow down, hero. Everyone's mad about this stolen tribute. And I bet you're here to volunteer to go after it, huh? But reclaiming those goods won't be a walk on the beach. The pirates that hit us are a tough crew. Just tell me where to find them. There are a few pirate dens in Windsweb, but it was the Buccaneer Creek bastards that took the tribute. Huh? Where these those pirates are lost now. So I'm not going after them. But <laughs> you're the hero. So you go. All right, fair enough. So that's what we're doing next. We're going to be off to, uh... Oh, we have a turn in here. What is this? No. Let's go check out this before we go anywhere else. Seems like we need to talk to somebody in town. course back to this guy you don't have to tell me I already heard that weasel to punt let the tribute get stolen by pirates never would have happened with the iron rose now we're all paying the price aren't we but honestly Medea may be ruthless with those who cross her but I don't think she'd do this no he's still not convinced it was her unleash a curse on all of Winsward punish innocence that's cruel even for her even sure she has such power. So we don't need to recover the tribute? I don't know. But it can't hurt. If Medea is not responsible for the curse, we could use her help. But truth be told, I need a drink and about a week of sleep. I wouldn't make a good comrade in arms right now. It's alright, we'll go alone. We've tangled with the Buccaneer Creek pirates. They're crafty. If you're going alone, always smart to set up a camp. There's a good spot near the pirate's den. I'll be at the tavern. Strength be with you, soldier. All right, so that is going to be our next quest. We're going to go take on the Buccaneer Creek Pirates. But I am going to take a break here for today, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. I am having fun with the story this time around. It's a lot more interesting than the tale that was being woven in the beginning parts of the game upon actual release. This has been much more enjoyable. I find it fun. The characters are interesting. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying things as well. Let me know what you do think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. We will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.